Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ronnie George and I am a registered Indian patent agent. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, you know, I create videos on IPR and patent related topics. And in today's topic, we are going to discuss about patent citations. Uh, when patent citations are actually very common terminology which is discussed in the field of patents. And today we are going to understand an overview of patent citations. So let's start with the topic. So what is a patent citation? Let's check the definition. A patent citation is any important document or research paper cited by a patent applicant, patent examiner or third party that relates to the content of a patent application. Okay, so what that means is, well, patent citation are actually documents. In most cases, they are patent documents only, which relate to the content or the specification of a patent application. So in case you see a patent application online in any of the patent database, you might find that there are there is a list of patent documents mentioned you know, below uh, the MDAS specification. So they are the patent citations. In the end of this session, I will also show you uh, the demo of, you know, by going through a patent application and I will show you the citations mentioned below. So that are basically patent citations. So in a way, they are related to the content of a patent application. Now, there are two kinds of patent citations. Let's check what they are. So there is backward patent citation and then there is forward patent citation. Okay, so what are backward patent citation? Well, backward patent citation is a document that is already published and publicly available prior to the filing date of the patent application. So, okay, take this, you know, scenario with me. So, when you are filing a patent application, you know, there are certain inventions or certain patent applications or certain prior acts, which is already existing. Let's say if I am going to file a patent application on an invention related to a uh, mobile phone, okay? So in that case, whatever my invention is, so there is a lot of content which is already available and there are a lot of patents which are already available with respect to mobile phones. So mobile phone is actually a very broad example. Uh, we can specifically go to the cam let's say camera of a mobile, right? So there are a lot of patent applications or patent documents which are already available with respect to the camera, right? And my invention is a slight improvement on what was already existed. So these prior arts, you know, these patent documents which were already there before filing of my application, these are, comp are considered as the backward citations. So these citations are in most cases mentioned in my application and then they are referred to as the backward citations. So they give an idea about you know these were the prior acts which were existing before or when I filed the application on my invention. Okay, so let's let's see the second point now. Backward citations establishes the foundation of invention and show the prior art considered during patent examination process by the examiner. So as I said, right? So these are prior acts which are already available, and my invention is a, an advancement over these prior arts. So when someone sees the backward citations they can get an idea that, you know, these were the inventions which are already available and the specific invention or specific period application, what I have filed. So what does that cover? You know, what is the advancement with respect to these prior acts? And based on that, I get the patent grant or I get the rejection. So in the patent examination process, all these prior acts are considered by the examiner and based on that, a decision is taken if my uh, invention is novel and inventive with respect to these references which are mentioned in the backward citation. Okay, I hope that that clarifies the second point. Now let's check third point. Backward citations provide references to the prior art that the examiner and inventor have reviewed to determine the novelty and inventiveness of the language. So this is similar to the second point I said. So based on you know what was existing which is considered as the backward citations, it was determined if the invention or the application I have filed is 
worthy of the act of a patent. So, uh, the application that I have filed is novel and inventive with respect to whatever the prior arts are. And these prior arts are mentioned as backward citations in a patent document. Okay, so that is about the backward patent citations. Now, forward patent citations. Now, what are they? Let's check that. So, forward citations is a document that have been recently published and signed the underlying period applications. So, now imagine the patent application which I filed, let's say, uh, two years after that or maybe three years after that, you know, someone else is filing my applic uh, another application, patent application. And for them, my patent application is a prior act, okay? So, whatever they are filing is a slight improvement on what I had filed. So, if I had filed on Cambram, so they have maybe done some invention over, you know, what I had done or something related to what I had done. They had done some improvement and now they are filing the application, which is three years from the date when I have filed. So, what happens is, if you consider my application, you know, this application which was an upgrade over my application, this will become as a forward citation with respect to my application. So, this will be also mentioned, you know, at a later stage in the uh, patent application, my patent application that, you know, these were filed after you and these were an improvement over my application and then they are mentioned as forward citations. So, forward citation is a patent document that has been recently published and cite the underlying patent application, which is my patent application. Now, forward citations provide a measure of the impact and relevance of a prior invention on subsequent inventions in the same technological area. Now, what that means is, let's say if someone takes and reads my patent application. So, from my patent application, what has been the, you know, improvement or what has been the impact in the future that can be considered by the seeing what are the forward citations. So, uh, let's say if I had filed in a patent application on Canberra and then in my patent application now there are 10 patent citations or 10 patent references mentioned in the forward citation sections which is definitely, you know, obviously an improvement over my patent application or patent. So, reading those 10 uh, patent applications which is mentioned in the forward patent citation section, one can, you know, understand or one can see how the technology has evolved. So, that is what is referred to in the second point. Uh, forward citation provides understanding of the direction that a particular market might be heading on. So, it is similar to, you know, the point we discussed in the second one. So, as someone can see the impact of, you know, what is happening in the future, so they can, you know, determine a direction of how the uh, market will further move in the future. So, that is about patent, forward patent citations. Now, uh, this is a drawing or, you know, this is a figure which can help you. So, subject patent. So, this is the, you know, this becomes as the center of uh, both forward citation and backward citation. So, as I was saying, you know, I was giving the example of my patent. So, if I have filed uh, a patent application, which is the subject patent, so the prior arts which were filed before me, and, you know, my, for which my application is an improvement. So, they come under backward citation. So, you can see patent A, patent B, patent C. So, these were already there when I went to file the patent application. And these are in backward citations in my patent and compared to my patent application. Similarly, once I had filed, you know, there were certain improvements which were done over my patent application. Okay. It may have been done maybe in one year, two year or 10 years, 20 years, whatever the number is. So, whenever they were filed, so for them, I was backward citation and for me, for book of my patent application, those patent applications are considered as the forward citations. So, whenever you check a patent application, you can find both of these. So, you can find uh, the backward citation references also and you can also find the forward patent citation references also. If it's a very newly published patent application, then it might be possible that you might not find any, uh, you know, forward citations because uh, there has not been much patent applications filed after you have filed. So, 
that is the entire concept of the patent citations. I hope you know uh, this has given you some idea about what are the patent citations. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a demo of uh, you know how patent citations can be checked for a patent application. Okay, so just hold on and I'm opening a patent database website. Okay, so let's see how we can check the citations of a patent application. So for that, we'll have to first open a patent database. Now I'll open Google Patents for this. Okay, so once we are in Google Patents, we need to find a patent application. So I'll just use the uh, patent application for which I was giving an example. So that is mobile phone camera. Okay, so you can see these are the patent references. Uh, so I'll open the first one. Okay, so once you open, uh, you know, this is how a patent application, a patent document looks in Google Patent. Now you can see the date here. So this was filed somewhere around 2017. Yeah, so this application is a 2017 application. Now if you go down in this, So if you see, you know, there are patent citations. Uh, so patent citations actually backward citations and then it's 42 mention, number is mentioned which is 42 references are there. So these 42 references or patent documents are actually uh, prior art or you know the content of these 42 applications uh, are related to this specific application and that is why and they were filed before this. So they are mentioned in the backward citations. Now if you go further down, you will find a section called cited by, yeah, so here it is. So cited by 31 and if you see their date, they are like after uh, the 2020, it starts from 2020 or 2009. So these, these documents, these 31 documents are basically filed after this specific application was filed. So, you know, for them, this specific application is a prior art and they, these may be, they may be an improvement over this specific patent application or patent document. So that is why they are mentioned in the forward citations. So this can be helpful when you know you are conducting a search. So let's say you're conducting a patent search and you come across one similar application. So whenever such a state comes, you know, you can for that specific application which you found, you can check the citations for that and it may be possible that the citations since they, their content is related that citation may be a better relevant uh, relevant prior art for you so you can do that when conducting a patent search so this is about uh, citations you can find that for any application you open any application you will find a section of backward citations as well as forward citations in it Okay, so that was it about uh, patent citations. We'll discuss more about IPR and patent related topics in the upcoming sessions. Thank you.